You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. They've not even offered us school or not. Uh, so yes, nice. yes. <laughs> it's acting as if it's his wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, we, we agree, but the moment you marry her, she becomes a uh -huh. No, 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 no. My son's wife, not our wife. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Why now, Please come. Problem? Problem like? No, there's no problem. Then where is Josephine? She's around. She's around? Then why hasn't she come to greet us? We have been waiting. She will soon come out. Trust me. Did they tell you anything? They said everything is okay. Osan, yeah. what do you have to say? Say something. I don't know what to say. Um, 
Uh, let us break the news to them. After all, there is nothing that has no solution except death. You mean you should break the news to them? What else? Someone should call me Fabian Alessandro. Yes, also, what happened? My wife said uh, you came to the house. Yes, and what happened to your phone now? I've been calling you. Oh, this uh, Nepa issue, they refuse to make light available in my area. So what is it?
store. You know, ask one hmm? I have the money now. I ask you for money, for my school fees or anything. You always make me cry. Why? See, the most important thing is that I have the money. Let's not talk about what happened before then. Hmm? Thank you. You're welcome. You know I love you. Love you too. And you know also that I'm always heartbroken each time I see you cry. Not well. <laughs> Go back your job. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry it happened this way. I couldn't find any possible means to tell you. I don't want to get married until after graduation. I'm so, so sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me for letting you down at this point in time. Josephine. Josephine. Are you aware that my people are seated in your father's living room right now? Waiting to pay your bride price as I agreed by both of us. Josephine. I know it to happen this way, but it was so difficult for me to tell you. Sondo, you've done nothing wrong to me, but I just can't marry you. You know, I was actually thinking that I was dreaming. But now it's done to me that this is reality. Just, just for the last time, look straight into my eyes and tell me you never wanted to do this. Go ahead and say it. I'm sorry, it's not my fault.
Babe, has he left? Ah, I'm talking to you now. Wait, babe, what are you doing? Are you crying? No, no, no. I'm not crying. If you're not, let's continue. Please forgive me somehow. I'm sorry now. Please forgive me somehow. I'm sorry. I'm I don't care whether you have any reason or not. Now listen, Josephine. If by this time tomorrow I don't see you in this house, then know that when next you are coming to this house, you are coming to pay me your last homage. What did she say? I did not call her to trade words with her. Mama. What is wrong with Sister Josephine? Mama, I don't know. But whatever is wrong with her is very powerful. Abu Dibi Abuanya. Ugoke. Look at the time. It's past 2 a.m. and you're still awake. Don't sleep. I'll be fine. No, brother. You are not fine. You are not fine, brother. Brother, this is the time for you to let go. Let Josephine go. Since it's not the will of God that both of you will live together, you know that everything happens for a reason. Probably it wouldn't have worked out if both of you had married. Please, brother, be a man and let go of her. Be calm. Oh, brother. What is going on here? What is it? Your brother has refused to go to bed. Asando! Asando! Asando, are you not the one I'm calling? Mama, no, please, please, please. You people should sleep. Leave me alone. You people should go and sleep. I'm okay. I'll be fine. No, brother. You are not okay. You're not fine. Asando, you know the implication of what you are doing to yourself. Oh. You know it. By the time you develop BP, then you will know what you have done to yourself. Hmm. It's done on you now. Please, don't listen to what she's saying. Oh? 
go to your room and sleep. No, I, I can't go to bed without you. Please follow me, let's go. Brother, please, please now. Don't say me. Let's go. Of shame and disgrace you brought to this family? How dare you, Josephine? Is it only that one? Our beautiful reputation. This guy has shattered everything. You know what? Come here. Come here! Papa! Out, out, out. Look, calculate every couple or son you spent on your head and send it back to him before the end of tomorrow evening. Otherwise, not only that one. What happens to all the things he brought for the introduction? Oh, everything inclusive. Oh. And my hospital bill. Papa. Thank you very much. Oh, shut up. 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 Shut Josephine, I purposely called you by this time of the night so that we can talk. Talk to me. Confide in me. What is it? Why this sudden change of attitude? Why did you change a date you and that man fixed all of a sudden? Mama, is this why you call me out by this time of the night? Of course you should have known that calling you at this time is because of this, so answer me. Mama, Osand is not the type of man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Kene! Why did it take you so long? Eh? Why did it take you so long to realize that he's not the kind of man for you? He proposed to you. You accepted. And he started training you. For four years, this man spent his money on you. You did not realize. All of a sudden, you just realized that he is not the kind of man you want to spend the rest of your life with. Mama, why is it that nobody's considering my feelings? Why don't you care about my happiness? Just feel we care about your happiness. That is why we don't want you to make this mistake. Mama. I would have made the mistake of my life if I had married Osondo. Do you love my father? Of course I love my husband. Would you have married him if you don't love him? All these questions eh, are for you to justify your not marrying him, right? Mama, I used to love him. I loved him so much, but not anymore. I will tell you just one thing this night. Whatever you give out, that is what you will receive. Good night. Sandra. But can you excuse us? I want to talk to your friend in private. Here. Yeah. Oh, Chineke. This particular issue is driving some people crazy. But tell me, why are you people concerned about your thing? Is this marriage by force? Huh? Um, baby, la hot. You have heard it now, in private. Best man. So, Richard, what is it? Look, Josephine, 
All is not well with my friend. My friend is dying. I don't understand. How am I supposed to help? Am I a doctor? Justin, there's nothing in this world that has no solution. If he has offended Wait, you... wait, wait, calm down. Please, just hold on. Your friend has not offended me in any way. What could be the matter then? The relationship was not working well. So I had to call it quit. Um, I, I thought you could confide in me. Richard, I've told you the truth and nothing else. Look, Josephine, is there someone else? I don't understand. I'm tired. I'm fed up with everything. Is that not enough reason? I'm in a hurry. Please, make it snappy. What is it? So baby, please. I beg of you. See, just, just look back where we're coming from. To this point. All we have been through. The promises we give to each other. Please. It's not fair if you, if you, if you just abandon me in the middle of nowhere like this. Where do I go from here? Listen, just get up. Please, no. Get up, you're still kneeling. Get up. Get up. Get up. See, Osondo, yes. you did not offend me in any way. This marriage cannot work. Just try and understand me. Please, I beg of you, just try and reconsider, please. Try. Yeah. Just try, please. Huh? If this is why you called me here, I'll be on my way. Baby, please, please, please. Somewhere. Mm. Ogako? Yes. Yo, do that. That make I call Oga. Oh, thank you. Thank Yo, you. What? I tried and tried, but network was very bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you so much. <laughs> How was your journey? It was okay, but stressful. I know. I want you to tell me the truth. The absolute truth. Please. That's the only truth. Um, we have a kind of brother and sister relationship. Although, although sometimes he calls me his wife. Was he training you in school? Um, um, yes, 
But not with the tension that he will marry me. So, you never thought of the fact that he might have had the intentions to marry you after sponsoring your education? I understand, sweetheart. But. Osun is not the kind of man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Do you know before he gives me my school fees, he makes me cry. I mean, he, he breaks my heart all the time. Friends for so long. I know it's hard to move on, but you just have to move on. And when you do this, you will find out that is the best decision you have ever made in life. But you know, I love Joseph. I know. I know you love her so much, but you just have to let go of her and move on with your life. Who knows what the future holds for you? This world is very dynamic. for the past six months. One strike. They have not paid us our salary. How do you people survive? You see me too, and you know the worst part of it. Nobody is saying anything or doing anything about it. We're just like that, looking. This country is dead. <laughs> but uh, my friend, just come out from there. Let me get you cooler, please. Ooh. Yes, well done, my brother. Oh, okay. Alright. Fine. You're my brother and my friend. Have you forgotten that? Yeah, we have cola. So you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for the cola. Yes. Uh, Osando, but something important brought me to your house. Ah. Uh, so this will have to wait. Okay, since it's here, I'm not here. Let's. Osondo. Yes. You and I have been friends for many years. Yes. And we can consider ourselves as brothers because we come from the same community. You're very correct, too. I want us to be honest with each other. Okay. What is your relationship with Josephine? You know, boy, if you're the retired inspector. Well, like you said, you like us to be sincere and straightforward. Exactly. So I would like to go straight to the point. Please. Josephine and I have been in a relationship for the past six years. And he's very open to Everybody who knows us, especially people from our community, including you. Or are you not aware? No. I, I never knew. I've not been in the country for the past three years now. Oh, 
Oh, oh yes, my fault. Um, I was told you traveled to Holland. Yes. How was your trip? God is my strength. We ate went well. When I came to Enugu last two months, that's when I saw her. For a friend's wedding. Uh, yeah, I've been in Denugu for two days now. Look at you. <laughs> oh God. <Yes. laughs> um, please meet my friend. Um, he's like my brother. We're from the same community. Hi. Such a cute guy. I'm Samuel Bane. <laughs> Pleasure is mine. Life generally. Life is good, everything's fine. That's good. So, what would you like to take? Soft to do. Soft. Yeah, can I have a bottle of a soft drink? Anyone? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome. So, how's life generally? Fine, everything is okay. Um, it's been long you came home. Oh yes, I've been in Holland for the last three years. I missed home, so I had to come back. I had the room at then, but it's okay. How is everything? Are you okay? Yeah, I missed home. Mm. Feels so good to see you. Thank you look so beautiful Thank and you. fresh. I. Probably you just eat uh, just egg and you know milk. And oh come on, you are Look at your skin, girl. <laughs> Wait, are you are you mad? Oh, 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 oh no, no no no! I just use this to scare men away. No way, that's not true. I'm serious. So this is fake. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I missed him. Yeah, I know. Babe, hmm? do you know he has already booked my flight ticket? And he just sent me the details on my phone. Are you kidding me? Hey, baby, la horse. See, you don't You know, be like us when they use bus, they work. You use flights, they work. Yeah, they know. Wow. But, wait, too. what are you going to tell your guy? Must you know I'm traveling? Babe, no sets me up. What if he comes looking for you? What am I going to tell him? Tell him you don't know where I've gone. Be yeah, okay. Pick up your phone and call him. Tell him you're going to Lagos. Okay. What if he asks me who are you going to see or where are you going to? What are you going to do in Lagos? Hey. 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 So you sabi do kona makin? You know sabi lie. Please. Tell him something, you know. You can tell him you you're going for your friend's traditional marriage. No, be me, oh, your spiritual friend now, you know. <laughs> but <don't. laughs> I hate my cup for you. It's now for you. Are you Don't Elena? No, Hala. <laughs>
trying to be a gentleman, huh? I know. <laughs> what are they yeah, uh, Musa. Welcome, madam. Get the box. Wait, wait, wait! Here we are. Oh, wow! Oh. No. And um, I have a BQ over there. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is where I sit up. Quite a stressful journey. Yes, so, it's time to get you freshened up. Let's go and get you freshened up, okay? Okay. Follow me. After the engagement, that's when I heard the rumor about your relationship with her. Did you ask her? Yes, I did. And, and she said there was nothing common between you two, except the fact that you were training her in school. That's what she said. You see, I did not make any mistake for loving you. Because my love for you was not for shame. It was a source of strength to me. I will not begrudge you because you were stupid. You followed money in place of the love that I have for you. The true love. It's okay. But one thing, 
I will never forgive you. It's the embarrassment that my kinsmen and I suffered right in your father's living room because of you. It will never be well with you. Eh? Back to sender. Eh? You almost saying anything? It just cost you and you didn't say anything. This cost cannot have an effect on me. Nonsense. I'm sorry. Thank God I met you here. I'm sorry now. What is the problem? There won't be any problem if you listen to me. But if you want one, go ahead and marry Josephine. And as soon as you do, you have declared yourself my best enemy. You have a good day. Osondo. That shows you a man. My son is now a man. <laughs> Mama. I'm very happy for you. At least for having this kind of idea. Hmm? I'm so happy. Thank you. We have to start looking for. Or oh, have you seen anyone? I'm going to Papa, I'm going to Yes, I, I've seen someone. She's from our community. It's your Yes. Hey. Really? Who is she? Who is she? Lord is good all the time. Do we know her? Um, yes, you do, Papa. She's um, Obuefi's daughter. Oh. Obuefi from Amankwa. Oh, good. Very good. Um, Obuefi? Yes. The retired inspector? Yes. Uh, but I heard one of the daughters uh, has problem with Igwebike's son who wanted to marry her. Uh, yes. That's true. But they've settled the matter now. Mm. They parted ways amicably. No problem, Papa. Is she the one you're talking about? Yes, Mama. God forbid! It cannot be. It may be so cool. Mama. Papa. Shut up! I'm your father. And you must listen to me. That girl belongs to someone. She is Osondo's wife. And everybody in this village knows that. Come. What is special about her that you can't look for another girl? Marriage with her cannot work. Look for another girl. My son, what your father has just said is the simple truth. She is Osondo's wife. Eh? Osondo has been there for her all those years. Please, don't go there, Biko. The earlier the better for you. Father, I, I understand that you are angry, but you need to calm down and listen to me. I did my own investigation, and when I asked her, she said she had nothing in common with Osondo. God will punish that mouth that she used to say that word. But it could be true. How can she say she has nothing in common with Osondo? Osondo who has been busy training her, and could not even do anything for his family. Here, women. Samuel. I refuse to believe that you were the reason she abandoned everybody on the day of her introduction. And any woman who could do such a thing is not worth a wife. Samuel Ongwam, Seba Hopota, you will not marry her. <sighs> My son, let us look for another good girl for you. I am not interested. Whether you are or you are not, that girl must not step her foot into this family. May God see no more upon Nagi. Never, never, you can tell that young man not to step foot in my house. Otherwise, I will cut it off. If you go, 
Now I have seen the person who, are, who has been deceiving you. Josephine. Josephine. I have asked you a couple of times why you will jilt a man that has done so much for you. You said nothing. Nekwabo. Aji Adropwe. Nai Biko, I am sorry. I don't want to be a part of this meeting. Ni 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 man. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry I tore your world apart. I'm sorry I left you and hurt you so badly. I'm sorry I made you cry. I'm sorry for every time I lied. Andy. <laughs> ah, Mama, I am back. You are back. Eh, yeah. Look at us like that. <laughs> mango. Yeah. I know you Mama. like mango. <laughs> Thank you. Mama, how did you pluck it? Is he came and I got it for me. Yeah. On my way back, I saw him plucking mango, so I asked him to get me some because I know you like it. Thank you, Mama. Hey, what's the lotus eat? I know you like Mama, it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just you first. I'll wash it. Eh, yeah? Mama. The truth is finally out. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. The truth, Kwa. Yes, Mama. What truth are you talking about? Mama, Josephine is getting married to Samuel. Josephine is getting married to Samuel. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Who? Who is Samuel? Ah, uh, uh, Mama, Max's son now. Samuel that lives in Lagos. Eh? The one uh, that traveled overseas. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. And I know him. I see. <laughs> hey. So it is because of Samuel that Josephine abandoned my son. Yes, so. Hmm. Okay. Do you know what? I am assuring her that she will never go unpunished. Amen. My good Lord will never allow Josephine to go unpunished. Amen. Hey. Josephine. <laughs> oh my sweet hey, king. Josephine. Josephine. Oh. Hey. Let me wash the mouth. Josephine. Man, this is unbelievable. Samuel really made a very big mistake. A hell of a mistake. Well, I told him if he goes ahead to marry Josephine, that I should have it in mind that he has signed a bond, signing himself out of my life, and I have declared him my worst enemy for life. Well, what did he say to that? Absolutely not. Josephine. Josephine has really taught me a hell of a lesson. Man, women are not to be trusted. I don't even think I will ever have anything to do with any woman again. Never. Not after what I've been through. <laughs> look, look. It's too early to conclude. You don't have to say that. There are still some good girls out there that really matters in our life. It's just a question of meeting them. Well, as it is now for me, no man really matters anymore. Trust me. Anyway, like I said before, you don't have to conclude yet. Mama, I'm sorry for calling you out by this time of the night. Just be very fast about it. Mama. Mama, you're a woman like me. Please don't look at my attitude from a different angle. Look at it. From an angle of a woman who knows where her heart belongs. 
Am I been in love with Osondo all these years because no one has challenged him? <laughs> Mama, Osondo is not romantic. He's not caring. Mama, he makes me cry. Just wait. You knew all this. Yet you kept quiet. Mama, since I knew Osondo, I've known no other man. I was just blindfolded. I never knew a man could be so romantic, so caring and so kind-hearted until I met Samuel. Osondo has been there for us. Not just for you, but for every member of this family. And God in heaven will not forgive us if you marry another man. Mama, please consider my happiness, my emotions, my life, Mama. Please, Mama. Consider the fact that this is the man I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. How would I make a good home if I'm with a man whom my heart doesn't beat for? I, I can marry him out of pity. If that will make you happy. I hope you know what that means, Mama. Father, I called you out separately because the way we reason is different from the way women reason. I want us to discuss this issue one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, like father and son. Since I was born, I've never disobeyed you, never ever. I've always brought honor to your name. And since I became an adult, you've never disrespected my opinion, father. I want your approval. Father, concerning this marriage, I can't go on without your approval. Please, it matters to me. But that woman doesn't go. But look, Father, look, no woman, no woman is an angel. And no one is completely perfect. Yeah, she. She jilted the man that was supposed to marry her. The man that took care of her. But that doesn't make her a bad person. There are still some good things about her. I'm, I'm sure. Father, please. I, I need to live my life as a happy man. I need to know my family approves of my marriage. I need your blessing, Father. Please. Okay. I've had you. Well, give me some time to make inquiry. Babe, listen. At this point, you don't have to listen to anybody. Just follow your heart. Because your happiness is involved. Mary shouldn't be out of pity because you're going to spend the rest of your life with that person. So just stop thinking and follow your heart. Everybody's against me. Nobody's considering my feelings. 
not even my younger sister. Oh, Josephine, I just told you something. Don't listen to anyone, just follow your heart. Okay, come to think of it, Samuel is very rich. If it comes to us, he can pay us on the whatever he thinks he has spent on you. Yes. It's okay. Just stop that. <laughs> Baby la hot. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm? It's alright. I, I should have been the one to come over to you. But I have my reasons for asking you to come over. You're welcome. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, I hope all is well. Yeah, yeah. All is very well. I just want to make some inquiries from you. I'm at your disposal. Thank you so much. It is about um, Ubuifi's daughter. I learned you are the middleman between him and Osondo, Ubuifi's son. Yes, I was. But now, I'm no more. Exactly why I sent for you. Tell me more about this. If I may ask, why are you interested in this matter? Well, let me go straight to the point because you're not a different person to me. Okay. My son is interested in the girl. <laughs> Your son is free. Osond is as free as bed in the air. Josephine and Osond have separated. Oh, really? They are no longer together. Thank you so much for that. But is that why you? Not even care to offer me a little color, not even house. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry for it. You know, when you're you know, going for a very serious matter, guys, you forget some protocols. <laughs> 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 Please, if what you called me for has to do with Josephine, Biko, allow me to go and sleep. Please. My husband, please. Permit me to say something about it. I have told you I want to use that thing to punish her. Yes, that man cannot marry my daughter. And where are you going? Sir, I, I'm here to see you. You're wasting your time because you can never marry my daughter. Never. Papa! Shut up. You. You deceived my daughter. You made her deal with a man who has suffered for her for years and the family. Now tell me, if you were in his shoes, how would you feel? I will not be happy. Then, leave my house now and never return. Papa, do Keep out of this. Papa, I... Shut up! If I ever see you around my daughter again, Go now. Just go. Don't you ever see your face in my company again? 
Miss Shut up! I am your father. I married your mother and she conceived you. From the day you were born, I have taken care of you up to today. I swear to God, if you make me regret ever having you as a daughter, I will send you to an early grave. <laughs> now, get out of my sight. <laughs> My son, so you mean the accident your car had was beyond repair? Uh, thank you. Thank you, yes, but even if it wasn't, I have decided to let that car go with all the troubles. Uh, I don't want to put my money into it again. Uh, brother, huh? why not sell the car and buy a new? I think you have a point too. Uh, Good. I'll think about it. Okay. Um, Fabian was here yesterday. F for who? For what? Where? He said Mark summoned him. He wanted to find out more about the case with Josephine. I don't. I just don't understand this. Because I, had, I don't know why you they're, they're getting you involved in all their wahala. I've told Sam that if he wants to marry Josephine, he should go ahead now. After all, he still knows the way to obey his house. Oh, oh he's not scared of obey. <laughs> Ask me. Uh, don't you know that those men are very crafty? If they like, oh, they should be. If they like, they shouldn't. I've told Samuel what he needs to know. And I've, that's final about it. Good. If he goes ahead to marry Josephine, from that day he has declared himself my best enemy as far as this community is concerned. Finish. That's all. Finish. Uh -huh. Exactly. Whoever that marries her is your enemy. As if Josephine is the only woman on earth. I don't head. understand, though. Ha! Nonsense. After all, my sister, you're a woman too. Mm -hmm. You know what? As if she's the only woman on earth. To have an enemy, enemies who declare to you right in your very before that they are your enemies to, to have a friend like you who backstab me but life is a school honey yes, call my daughter for me please okay excuse me